hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this training session I'm going to attempt to keep this not too long as I've got a lot to do today but I just wanted to cover uh, a couple of points that come up in some emails I've received over the last couple of days I receive dozens of emails from around the world from traders and would-be traders every week and at least 60% of them still are, an overall majority are about Forex are there still some opportunities day trading the Forex markets well the answer is categorically yes see one huge advantage in trading Forex is that if you don't have the required or what I recommend five thousand dollars to start trading or to open up a futures account you can start with Forex where you can even open up a micro or a mini account and start cutting your tooth or learning by trading Forex and one day perhaps move along to the futures markets which is what I mainly trade nowadays because in the futures markets the commissions are just a little over four dollars round turn where if you're trading a standard lot on Forex typically you're paying between one and a half and three pips which is between 15 and 30 dollars and the commissions really add up if you're an active day trader like myself executing 20 to 30 trades a day so something to think about but you can break into the Forex market with literally only a few hundred dollars most brokers will provide you with the trading platform mt4 free of charge and what I do recommend though if you do use mt4 that you do obtain or purchase a range chart or tick chart plugin we can also display range charts or tick charts which we're going to have a quick look at in a few minutes so there are some still some great opportunities but what you also need to do is to make sure that you've got what I call a scalping friendly broker that is one that's on the lower end of the Commission scale and naturally without me saying it well I will say it they need to be a naturally a regulated broker that's very very important now moving right along if you haven't uh, seen one of my videos before or maybe you have as a reminder you need to understand the risk in trading so please feel free to pause the video and have a read of the risk disclaimer we will be going to full screen in a moment looking at a couple of charts and uh, you can click on here to go to full screen now everything that I talk about here is covered comprehensively in my day traders fast track program it's the world's most comprehensive day and swing trading program for only $197 you can go to my website to obtain more information but please subscribe to my channel so I can keep you up to date with all of these videos I've got a free training manual you can get off my site I've got um, I have a truth about day trading and there's a ton of stuff you can get free of charge so please make sure you visit my website end of ad let's get stuck into it now the September figures for the currency markets we can see that the British pound USD was way in front for, uh, the last few months so there's been some of course we've seen uh, with the breakaway from or the potential breakaway from the European nations there's been of course huge trading volumes but one of the questions is has the Forex markets changed the answer is absolutely they really have changed in actual fact in America we now see that there's well under I think the last figures I saw from the CFTC was there's under 94,000 uh, traders in the USA that have FX accounts so it's really dropped off dramatically however the Forex market if you're with a regulated broker has also become one of the most regulated markets so it's become a lot fairer some of the things that we saw happening four or five years ago as far as stops being run etc etc are much less likely now likely now because the regulators clamping down on the brokers now a big thing that comes up every week is risk management traders you need to trade like a casino so what do I mean by that well if we go to a casino and say if we're sitting at a blackjack table and the dealer has a long run of losses does the dealer deviate from the casinos rules from their trading plan after run of losses absolutely not he still follows it to a T without varying whatsoever we must learn to do that because yes you can learn today trade the Forex market successfully but you've got to stick with your plan and this is a lot easier if your risk per trade is 2% or under and that's one of the great things if you have a small account start trading with a mini account at a dollar a pip um, trade with only a 0.5% 
risk rather than 2% that way if you have five losing trades in a row which happens you're only down two and a half percent you see the trading business trade is, is over 90% psychology it truly is it's all about well let's just break it down simply 90% psychology 5% money management and 5% the strategies the strategies in my opinion is the easy part now this is what I have on my wall in my office is I have yes I teach traders 12 to 14 different setups do you need to learn them all absolutely not you only need three or four to have an incredible career as a day or swing trader you need to take on the persona of being what I call a sniper you need to be looking for your trades and ideally chart patterns mechanical rules based trades and the advantage is if you're trading uh, the charts or trading the markets based upon patterns the market has a memory these patterns geometric patterns appear in the markets each and every day and as you begin to learn how to read chart patterns and it's they're not difficult it just takes some screen time you become less reliant on the indicators in the lower part of your window you become a lot less reliant on your stochastics or your MACDs or your RSI's or whatever else whatever else you're going to use and you've got virtually no lag because it's pure price something I want you to think about so let's go and have a look at a couple of things on some charts that I want to quickly mention on the left hand side what I'm displaying here is the Aussie dollar Aussie USD and what I've got here is a range bar so each one of these candles here is is four pips in length or forty dollars if you're trading a standard lot what I love about range say compared over to the right where I've got a 144 tick bar chart up is range really smooths out the chart it makes it I, I believe visually easier to recognize patterns it makes it easy to trade and a whole lot of other benefits so I'm I really love range bars however tick are great too and the patterns one thing because here are thousands of small traders patterns appear and because most patterns are based upon human psychology fear and greed is that there's so many traders day trading this market it they're very very predictable now for an example my members watching this now what setup is that there it's a black and white what is it a t9 all right it's a beautiful t9 setup just here what have we got here we've got really it's almost divergence here you've got a t3 and if you look over here very very clearly you've got a t3 so the patterns that we teach appear in the markets day in day out now what I did want to do is just quickly show you a couple of things here on this chart and excuse I've, I've, there's a lot of stuff here because I use this in a training session yesterday so I just thought I'd leave it up and base my session today on this one and what I do have here is four EMAs on my chart I've got the the, the 200 the 89 the 34 the 21 and the 8 did I say four yes there's actually five my apologies the blue one of course is our trigger line we've got a lovely t7 with the trend and you know once again if you fall into a fast flowing river what is the safest way to go with it you go with the river you go with the flow and that is following the trend and the best way to follow it the trend traders is to remember the gold right this one here is our 34 the magic 34 EMA if you keep your eye on that one it's going to take you to the pot of gold really important so we can see up here what a nice little double top we call double tops or double bottoms t7s and we did we code our setups traders after a while they become very very easy but you can see here you've got a, a nice t7 you've got a t20 you've got a rule of two you've got a t25 and a rule of two you've got a t1 here you've got a really nice t19 which is a really nice divergence trade you've got a t20 again you've got a rule of two you've got a rule of two there another rule of two here you've got a t9 so traders are you getting the hint there is a ton of opportunities in trading the forex markets a t1 rule of two uh, you've got a nice little uh, t7 up here 89b a 200b and of course for my members watching this recording what would you then be doing you'd be looking at your anchor chart also you've got a 34b 
you've got a t9 you've got an 89b you've got a t3 you've got a t9 right there and you've got a 200 with a t1 in the direction of a 34 so traders and look at this here for a really nice divergence trade a divergence trade with the trend so traders the answer is categorically and this is all based upon the price action over the last two days it's the 15th of the 11th 2016 so yes the day trading or the market or the opportunity for day trading Forex is very very much alive there are some fantastic trading opportunities so traders I'm going to finish this up we're at 10 minutes I just want to cover a couple of uh, key points and once again traders you don't need to spend a lot of money gaining the right education now each trader needs to find his or her own best his or her I should say his or her best approach but you can also be trained in the best approach and that's what I want to do I want to train you in the best setups so drop me an email also uh, if you'd like to have a chat to me on Skype I'm happy to have a chat to you on Skype as well thank you traders and I'll see you on the next video and once again please make sure you subscribe to my channel